For one thing, I have not had any converse, conversation with anybody at the FBI, and I hope nobody else has, because we shouldn't have any political determination of who should be talked to or not talked to. Uh, the FBI has a protocol by which they go about all of these uh, in, uh, investigations. Uh, I assume that they're following that protocol and they follow the facts where uh, it leads them. He's 12 years, 307 opinions, and uh, uh, an uh, extremely high qualified rating by the American Bar Association. None of that raised any issue that you bring up about his temperament. Then I'll give you a historical answer as well, because uh, I'm one of four senators, I think only four senators that were here when Clarence Thomas had his hearing and Anita uh, Hill charged him with uh, uh, sexual assault. And, uh, and uh, that issue, very same issue you uh, bring up to me now about Kavanaugh was brought up about uh, Justice Thomas. So I had to take that into consideration just like I have to take it into consideration now. And I voted for Justice Thomas. And, uh, and uh, then you, you look back 28 years that he's been on the Supreme Court. There's never been any indication whatsoever that any decision he ever made was retribution against somebody that accused him of that 28 years ago, like Kavanaugh is being accused today. I believe she's telling the truth that she had that attack. What I don't know, because there's no corroborating evidence supplied by her. In fact, what she has supplied, three or four names that we had, they couldn't corroborate it. So uh, I, I know that she was attacked, as she said, uh, but I don't know that Brent Kavanaugh did it. And in our system of justice, uh, you know, you shouldn't be considered guilty until you prove yourself innocent.